guys, it's Isa here and welcome to a video that is entitled Coping with the Pandemic Through Buying Books No, just kidding um, Yeah, so during this lockdown period, I have been in a total reading spree It's like reading is the only escape that you get I think it's not just me, I think a lot of people do That's why I joined Bookstagram and a lot of people I think join Bookstagram because of that, because everyone's been reading lately, just trying to get that escapism. All of these books that I got right here, all this beautiful stack that I have over here, these are all secondhand books. I did not buy new books for the reason that I wanted to give life to books that are not being, that are not wanted anymore. Same reason for giving life to clothes that are not wanted. Um, it may be a little scary because um, we can't, it's scary to thrift nowadays because the virus sticks to the clothes, sticks to or stays on inanimate objects or surfaces. So it's really scary to buy secondhand clothing or secondhand stuff when you don't know where it came from. But um, in my defense, I disinfected these books as um, I will show you how I did my disinfection process because there are a lot of books over here and I don't want to pick up each book one by one because these are books that you're already familiar with these are books that are already very well known and you don't need an explanation or a synopsis of each of these books because for sure you guys already know and I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of late on the book trend, the book buying trend because I am a cheapster I'm very cheap so I get all my books on the iPad. I do get my ebooks rather than physical books. Even though I love physical books, it's just that I don't want to spend that much money on it. But I realize that I can buy books secondhand and really cheap during this pandemic. And so here they are. That is me babbling. I will now show you all my books and let's get on to the voiceover and I will see you. So upon receiving the book packages, I opened them up and then had them air out and leave them under the sun a bit. Then after a while, once I've accumulated all the books, I used a normal dishcloth or any cloth and then used alcohol to do a wipe down. And then I sprayed a little bit using a spray bottle, a little bit of alcohol while skimming the pages. So these ones are the 39 Clues set. I wanted to complete my 39 Clues, which is the first, um, the Clue Hunt set, because I really wanted to continue reading on, because I only had one to five. And then I have here book six, which is Into the Deep. And then book seven, The Viper's Nest. Book eight, which is The Emperor's Code. I already had book nine, so I bought book 10, which is Into the Gauntlet. And then I bought book 11, which is Vespers Rising and then I think it had a continuous set that I got book one of which is the Medusa's plot and I'll see if I like it so yeah next up we have the Divergent series I already read these before but I haven't read four see what I did there kind of a pun I don't know that wasn't fun <laughs> Okay, so I've got Divergent in a paperback format. I also have Insurgent, which is also in paperback. And then I have Allegiant in a hardbound. Um, I know it's weird, but I got this as a set. And then look at the very beautiful Allegiant um, under the dust jacket. It has a silverish tinge to it, and I love it. And then we have Four, which I've never heard of. I'm not updated. Um, yeah, and it has this gold detail that I'm not sure what it is, but it's beautiful and I really like it So I'm not much too picky about the paperbacks and the hardbacks Okay, so the first struggle of this book haul is showing you guys my set of British Harry Potter designs I'm not sure if they're the real British, but I tried to get the UK ones um, this one I think is the Scholastic, but this one is Canadian, I guess, the Harry Potter book one. For book two, this one is Bloomsbury, book three, um, Bloomsbury as well. And then book four, with The Goblet of Fire, is again Bloomsbury. 
For the book five, this one is Bloomsbury Raincoast, this one as well, and the Deathly Hollows as well. I really love the cover of this one. And these ones are hardcover, the first ones are softcover. The next struggle, as you can see, is the hardcover American edition Harry Potter set. I don't have book one, so I have book two over here. Then book three, it has a little bit of damage on this dust jacket. Book four, um, a little bit of damage on the spine. Book five, book six, and book seven are the ones that I think are in very proper condition. I don't have the American book one hardcover, but I do have a signature edition book one. Next, for my very beloved Shadowhunter series, this one is The Mortal Instruments, which has six books. We have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls. I just love this cover. And of course, City of Heavenly Fire. This is a thick boy. And of course, the next set, which is the Infernal Devices. These have such beautiful covers. I don't know, I love these. First we have his Clockwork Angel, then we have Clockwork Prince, and then we have Clockwork Princess, which is by far my favorite cover. So beautiful. And I have additional Cassandra Clare books that are part of it, which is Lady Midnight, Tales of the Shadow Hunter Academy, and The Red Scrolls of Magic. I also got a copy of the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I think this one is the playwright edition or whatever you call that and then i also got myself the hogwarts library or the companions quidditch through the ages fantastic beast and where to find them and the tales of beetle the bard i haven't gotten to read this yet and then some additional john green books um paper towns and an abundance of catherines then i have a few individual books which first one is the percy jackson and the lightning thief I really want to get a set of this and then this one is a free book i have no idea what it's about it was just free and then the crowfield demon which is the second book by pat walsh after the crowfield's curse thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this book haul if you're interested in other bookish things i do have my bookstagram linked down below i have all my socials linked down below as well and if you did also go into a book buying spree please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what are the books that you bought during this quarantine period and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys on my next video bye